action. Hello world, my name is Henry Strange and this is Matt Davis. And today we want to show you the new standard for uh, artist playback. So this is a system made for Drake. Um, it's redundant. It was, it, we're using Ableton as a software. Uh, we have it's redundant so that in case the computer acts upon you, we can always switch to another computer. And uh, we've used several different controllers before, but found the Innovation Launchpad to be the most reliable and simplistic device, also inexpensive. Uh, something that we can replace if we ever had issues at a particular city, which when we're on tour, um, to control these systems. So what, the reason why we have two rigs here, two launch pad, is one is for the programmer, which sits side stage, running the main rig here, and then another one sits on the stage with the DJ. So the DJ effectively can control uh, everything that's happening and basically run the whole show with the programmer on the side, making sure that everything is consistent. Uh, Matt here had uh, made a very specific software for the launch pad to make this system run extremely smooth. And um, it can, in fact, you can run it in, in, uh, like an old uh, 420 system playback machine where you just have the name of the song, stop play. So this is definitely something that's going to take over the industry as far as playback because it's so simple that, you know, a DJ can do it. So here's Matt. It's so simple a DJ can do it. Um, so yeah, basically we wanted to do everything that Henry's saying, um, and we want to give uh, people visual feedback on what buttons they were pressing. So we used a combination of Max MSP and uh, uh, MIDI send tracks within Ableton to create that functionality. So a performer, a DJ, a VP, anyone can push a track and trigger it, and it'll light up red when the track is queued up, and then when you hit play, that track will blink. Three, um, four. So you can hit stop, and then it goes back, um, or you can jump to another track, One, and it'll two, jump to that track. Three, four. Um, that's kind of the gist. It's, again, really simple, um, really straightforward. Uh, and the reason we use the combination of the two softwares is to build in these things like the stop, play, on, off buttons, um, and you know the blinking tracks, so, and the reset on stop. So when you hit the song, it's, uh, it lights up red to show you that it's cute. And then when you hit play, it'll play that song. Right, and then you solo. Okay, play that song. One, two, three, four. And you ask, why do we need all of this stuff to play back instead of just playing CDs? Um, basically, just that right now we're playing multi tracks. So we have enough, we have all the stems playing out so the band can have a click in their ear, have a count in. You heard the count in actually just now. And the music can be split out to front of house. Uh, up to 16 channels so that they can have, we can send Simpty, we can do all the things that a full production would need. Control lights, we can control, um, we can control the video. Um, in fact, we're actually here working on a system uh, controlling the, the start and stop of the video for Drake's uh, coming OVO Fest. So all this stuff is uh, integrated, and then, but then turned extremely simple here on this pad for the DJ to control so that they can be involved with the show and everything spot on, we'll start spot, spot on. So thank you, Novation. We love your gear.